Hello and welcome everyone to our Warcraft demo. Um, this is what you have seen in GDC and this is a procedural enrichment demo, which means we are taking an existing scene and we're using Warcraft to enrich it procedurally by generating brass, for example, creating a market and also IV around the scene. So this is without procedural enrichment and this is with it. On top of this, we're actually using Warcrafts here to also do the scene traversal and the rendering. So if I disable Warcrafts, you can see that the whole scene goes away because this is actually one large Warcraft. So um, all the procedural enrichment is part of it. And also all the scene traversal and kicking off the draw calls in the end is also part of it. We have a bunch of uh, scenes you want to look at here. So the first one is the meadow. And this is our procedural uh, grass generation. So we are creating grass uh, based on the height map, um, so we can cut out areas of the terrain. But when we create the grass, we also make additional decisions after the grass placement has been done. Um, so we use a ray tracer to determine if tiles are in shadow, like in this uh, cave here, so you can see mushrooms growing over here. And then you can also see the parts which are in the sunlight, we are spawning flowers, and when we are spawning flowers, we are sometimes spawning bees and sometimes we don't. But this is a a graph where basically there's a multiple decision step process here and you can also see this is working the whole scene so if i fly over here this is the same procedural grass and you can see also mushrooms growing over here the next effect we implemented is um, procedural ivy growth so if i go to the bridge here you can see those ivies on the bridge and if i let them grow here you can see how they procedurally um, not just linearly grow, but they also um, split along the way, and then you get multiple branches, which is something which is difficult to achieve otherwise, right? So you would have to have some kind of work queue or something similar. Um, the same is true here. So this is a, a larger ivy growth on the wall. And you can see this procedural splitting and uh, branching of this ivy. The last effect we have here is the market. So this is our procedurally created market. It's very large. Um, I can actually scale this up a lot as well. So you can see that this is allows for many, many recursion levels and, and actually scales to very, very large markets. And what it does is it basically starts with a control polygon, which is recursively subdivided. Then we place roads in it. And you can see as I move the polygon around here, it will connect with the roads in different ways. And then we place market stalls in the remaining space. Again, move this around here. Then we pass some gillands, and then finally we fill up the remaining space with props. So again, if I move this around, you can see how the props get placed again. And that's it for our demo. Thanks for watching. And if you're interested in more details, please uh, watch our GDC talk and uh, keep reading this blog.